So I'm here today to demonstrate to you the Orient Gene Rapid Antigen Test for COVID-19. Here's the test cassette itself. We have the swab that comes with the cassette, the tube for collecting the extraction fluid, and the extraction fluid itself, plus the lid that goes onto the tube. And so we'll demonstrate here. The preparation initially is that you need about 10 drops of this buffer. So we'll just put 10 drops in here. There we are. The next thing we do is do the actual swab. And before I do the swab, I'm going to ask our subject to just blow his nose. <laughs> we can now open the swab itself. Could you just tilt your head back slightly? And what we do is obviously insert the filter end of the swab into the nostril and you just insert that until you feel some resistance. It may be a little bit uncomfortable. And then you want to roll it around inside the nose. That's enough. That's all the discomfort over. We're now going to put that swab into the fluid, push it up and down six times. And then we will break the swab, we'll let that sit for one minute. So welcome back, we've waited one minute now and so I'm going to open the test cassette. If I can just show you the test cassette, the sample clearly goes in the well labelled S there is a T for the test line and a C for the control line. The control line must change color for the test to be valid. And obviously, if there's also a line at the test point, that's a positive result. So we're putting that on a flat surface. I'm now going to put the top into the test. And I'm just going to squeeze a few times to make sure that the end of the swab is fully immersed and any antigen has been squeezed out of it. And then four drops into the test well. So that's four drops in there and we should start seeing the fluid track along. You can probably see the fluid now tracking along the test cassette. This process will take 15 minutes in total to read a true negative result, but obviously a positive result can appear much more rapidly than that. So we've gone past the test band. We're now coming up towards the control end of the specimen. And beyond. I think it's fairly obvious now that we have a valid test. There is clearly a deep pink or purple line at the control 
and obviously nothing preceding it at the test. And you can see that the fluid now has almost tracked along the entire cassette. Obviously we now have to wait for another 13 minutes or so. So we'll pause the video and show you what it looks like at 15 minutes. So as promised, we're coming back to the original antigen test. And you can see here that clearly this test is valid. You can see the purple line at the C and there are no lines preceding it at the T level. So this is a negative test for COVID-19.